Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use walls and lighting within Above VTT. So, you see I've got this scene set up here with the grid already. I'm going to navigate to the Walls tool, click Draw Wall, hold Shift to draw a continuous wall while I click Left Click. I could additionally just instead use Right Click if I wanted to do that, but uh, Shift Left Click is my personal preference. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to this tool down here that says Wall to Selected. Uh, with that selected, I could uh, click this drop down and convert any of these walls to any of these options a door, window, locked door, locked window, secret door, secret locked door, secret window, secret locked window. Uh, so, first let's do some doors. I'm going to click that option, wall to select it, and then just drag a box around this wall here. I got a door. Draw one right here. Got another door. I forgot a wall right here, so let's draw that wall. Actually, we're going to draw that wall to there, and then I'm going to show you that this draw selected option, if I leave that gap there I can now just draw like a line segment and it'll create a door uh, using that there if I don't want to use that convert tool alright so I got those set up let's go ahead and convert some of these walls to windows so it looks like I got a window here I got a window here here right here and right here alright cool uh, again you can like change any of these to hidden if you want to by clicking this hidden icon you can convert a door by uh, clicking this icon if you would need to redo a line or erase it, um, I can, oops, I'm sorry, I uh, messed that one up right there. Let's go ahead and redo that, wall to selected window, there we go. And um, if I go ahead to erase line here, I can go ahead and just erase both of those line segments. If I just click that or erase that whole line. Or I can uh, click erase area if I just need to erase a certain area. You just drag and uh, select an area with this uh, box and it will delete that out for you. Uh, you can click undo as I just did. Um, if you want to always be able to see the walls, you can click always show. Because uh, typically if you click select or off of the walls tool, you can't see the walls anymore uh, like this. But if you leave that on, you certainly can. Or you can clear them all out by pressing clear. Uh, these bases in in uh, heights you can use if you have varying wall heights or anything like that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, additionally, you could use this three point rectangle to uh, draw a rectangle by just drawing out three points. So one, two, and then you see it makes a third point use, making this um, polygon or rectangle shape. I'm going to undo that and clear that out. And then you can also just do a rectangle wall too if you just want to draw boxes like that. Uh, good for square buildings such as this. Alright, so we got those walls set up. Let's go ahead to the scene settings. Let's turn up the darkness to 100%. That way the walls will block out line of sight for my player characters and my tokens in here. If you do not have this up to 100%, they will be able to see through walls. So uh, turn it up to 100 if you don't want them to see through the walls. Alright, so we um, got that darkness turned up now. Uh, if I click on the player character with the view, uh, you can see the walls are all set up. and um, I actually I already have light on here, so let me clear out all this light. There we go. And um, so you can see it's pitch black because I have that darkness turned up. Uh, as you just saw, I will add this light in vision by clicking rectangle um, and then daylight or change the color however I want and draw a rectangle of daylight over the whole scene. I could use any of these other tools if I wanted to as well. Um, and, you know, of course they will work that way. I can do erase and select a box like that and uh, erase out. So uh, I don't want light inside of the building here, so I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. I'm going to erase out this area of light that is inside of the building. Um, let's go ahead and just do this little nook right here. Okay, perfect. All right, so if I click Galvin again, open the door, you can see as soon as he walks in there, it's pitch black. Uh, well, maybe you want some light leaking in there from outside. So let's go ahead to my tokens. Let's go to the, uh, let's just do one of these D&D Beyond tokens. Let's add a hidden token and let's place that outside. Let's give it, um, you know, right click it, go to token vision light, enable the vision light, and then let's give it a preset of like maybe, I don't know, 20 feet. Uh, now I have this token here. If I click on Galvin to view his view, now we got some light leaking in here from outside. Uh, we can see better now without even illuminating the inside actually. Uh, so maybe there should actually be light on the other side of the window too. I'm going to copy and paste this token and um, that one looked hidden because I had this 
view uh, selected token division icon selected but yeah if I click that right there let's go ahead and add another one to like right here because there should be one if uh, this door was opened here um, and yeah let's go ahead let's go ahead and actually redo this door uh, erase line let's go ahead and just draw door there we go okay now let's uh, pop that door open. We got that door icon right there. Yeah, and I'm sure if you guys saw that, but we have the door icon here. We have the window icon here for the window. A closed window still allows vision through it, uh, but does not allow players to move through it. An opened window, uh, you can see through it and move through it. Uh, so it's essentially just like an open space. A closed door uh, will block people from being able to walk through. Um, and see through an open door you can walk through and see through. You can additionally right click these to open and close. You can add a note to it if you want. Maybe there's a uh, lock or a uh, trap on it with a spell or a DC that you need to mark uh, and a uh, saving throw or whatever. Uh, you can additionally change it to a locked door, a secret door, or hide icon and show uh, walls to view instead. So these are good if you like don't want the players to see that there's a door there but you still want the um, ability to open and close it. Uh, press that secret or locked again. Um, they'll be able to see the door then but they won't be able to open it themselves. Um, so maybe we want to actually illuminate the inside here. Maybe there is like a fireplace. Um, I can go ahead to the light vision tool up top here. Uh, using this tool will be less intensive on your computer than using um, tokens as lights. Uh, but I will turn down the opacity of this light to make like my dim outer light. Um, make sure also that daylight is not selected anymore. Uh, I will go to circle and uh, draw out that circle. And then I'll go ahead and turn that up a little bit, that uh, opacity. And then I'll draw that once again select that you can see we got that bright light in the center here the dim light i could even like you know uh exaggerate that further if i wanted to i'll do another layer of that light coming out from here uh let's go ahead and do it just like that and uh yeah so you see like i get this like really dim light coming all around here as a nice effect to the place and yeah it's uh pretty much a uh, i think all you need to know about these uh light and uh, walls setting up in, in this kind of capacity. Again, if you have any questions or need any help, always available and happy to help.